I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. If you're new to Siamese Mahjong, there's a link in the video description below to a demonstration and the rules. This is when you play with one opponent where each has two hands. Player one gets 28 tiles, player two, 27. That's a lot to work with. And because you can play online now, there's a need for speed. So I like to do something called Siamese sprints, where I force myself to make quick decisions. My goal as an experienced player is to make decisions in under two minutes, because online at SiamesMahjong.com, you have two minutes to make that initial decision. And then every pick and discard thereafter, you get one minute to make your decisions. This is a great way to practice if you have a set of tiles at home. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here. We're going to do three random pulls. Laps one, three, and five are going to be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. We're going to alternate between player one and player two. Player one gets 28 tiles. Player two, 27 tiles. Okay, flowers, east, red, green, lots of cracks, four, eight pairs, five, seven, seven dot pairs, four, five, six, seven, pair of fives. So here, I don't think I would focus on the wins, even though there's a big multiple there. No other wins. So I would focus here and the multiples. We have seven, eight, four, six, eight, five, six, let's see five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, let's just get those down there, these up here, okay, so we have flowers, multiple, I think I would try a quint. Okay, that was a challenge. So we have quite a few discards there, but I think this looks pretty good. We have a quint with fours and dragons using the jokers. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We actually picked hands. Sometimes you can do that when you play Siamese Mahjong because you have so many tiles. This is the fifth hand down under consecutive run. Four, five, six pairs, Kong Kong. Then here, the first quint. I think what I would do is maybe hold these for a while. See if we could maybe get jokers out of them. Wins typically don't make good joker bait, though. I think that's what I would do here. We don't have any big multiples, so we're going to have to go with what we have here. Let's see, we do have six, seven, eight. There is some potential for single pair Pung Kong with flowers, but that is going to, let's see, there's also single pair Pung Kong. Single pair Pung Kong. 
that would split the joke or the flowers. I don't think I would do that. I think I would do this. There is potential for single pair Pung Kong. That would be the fifth hand down, but two hands using eight flowers, that's going to be tough. So I think I would play one hand without flowers, one hand with flowers. This would be a divergent plan. We're not sharing any tiles. In this case, it would be flowers if we played that fifth hand down in two suits, cracks and bams. Maybe just keep the seven and these as plan B. Get rid of these first. Hold that for joker bait. Maybe go to that hand in two suits, bams and cracks, if we get more flowers. But if we get more flowers, I'd rather play the quint. We could even quint this four right now. And then, of course, we'd need help with these dragons. I think that's what I would do. Northeast pair, green dragon pair, white dragon, one, two, three, five, pair fives and a six in cracks, two, four, five, pair of nine bams, five, seven, nine there, one, three, four, six, nine, seven dot in there, six, nine pairs. So what I would focus on here is three, six, nine, three, six, nine, and one through five. Okay, I'm going to lap. So what I would do here is maybe a year hand or one, two of some kind. One, two, I'm not sure if the fours and fives are going to work. The other thing that we could do is maybe like numbers with fives. I would keep all consecutive tiles until I run out of discards. There's a little bit of consecutive run potential right there. I would just hold one through five. And then down here, maybe try for the pair hand. Three, six, nine, pair hand. If the three, six, nine, pair hand doesn't work and we can get nine cracks, maybe three, six, nine pairs with Kongs of nines. That would be the second hand down. This is going to be very challenging because we have a lot of four, five. Our sixes are down here. So we're going to need to build down. So we're going to need one through five. Sixes are in here. We could maybe do four, five dragon. Or maybe like numbers with fives, if we can get the red dragon and flowers. There's some flexibility in there. And consecutive run is the most flexible category on the card. So I would just discard these and gather. Try to do the pair hand here. Wow, look at these winds and dragons. Oh my gosh, I would leverage that. Here's news. News dragon hand. That could be a pure hand. Kong ready to win. Down here, we've got work to do. 
no multiples. So I would pick the predominant pattern, which I think would be one through five. One, two, four, 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 six, eight. Let's just count. There's eight, 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, I would probably do that. One, four, that's a bit choppy. Let's see. One, two, one, five, four, six, eight. One through nine. I think I would hold it all and just see what sequence builds up. Go with multiples. Build around multiples. That's going to be a challenge, but we have a potential pure hand here. I would just hold all these tiles and wherever the multiples build up, focus there and keep tiles that support the multiple as they come in. We could do two, four, six, eight. We could do one, three, five, seven, nine. We could do one through five. Here's one, five, nine, one, one, three, five, seven, two, four, four, six, four, six, eight, one through five, one, four, one through five. So there's equal potential for all those categories. That will require fancy footwork for sure. But that's why it's so much fun. Let's see how things went with time. Fancy footwork is putting it mildly, especially on that last sprint. Let's see how things went with time. Sprint one, two minutes, five seconds. Sprint two, one minute, 58. Sprint three, two minutes, one second. So on SiamesMahjong.com, when you play online, if you don't make a decision quick enough, the game will toss a tile for you. For sprint one and three, the game would have discarded a tile for me. Sprint two, I would have been okay. This is why you want to practice at home. If you have your own set of tiles, try to make decisions in under two minutes. If you are a beginner with this version, give yourself four minutes. If you are an intermediate player, give yourself three minutes, but push yourself to the lower thresholds. And when you can make decisions in under two minutes, then you could play online without the game tossing a tile for you. Here's a tip for you. When you play online, identify which tiles you know you don't need. And when you start getting the beep to warn you that the game is going to toss a tile, find one of those tiles you know you don't need and discard it. Then the timer will start for your opponent and you'll have two minutes to solidify your plans for the tiles that you want to keep. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.